Hey guys, my name is Kennedy and today I'm going to show you how I started working with brands on Instagram when I only had 600 followers. I started my Instagram account on September 2019. I didn't know anything about working with brands. I was a mess. But it works out because now I can share everything I know with you. In the past, I had always heard that you needed a substantial amount of followers in order to work with brands. When the truth is, you really don't. So if you have a smaller following and you want to start working with brands, please keep watching to see how it's done. Treat your account like a business. Here's what I mean by this. When brands look at your account, they want to see some type of professionalism. They don't want to see photos of you and your friends or the random overly edited selfie. That is why I recommend having two Instagram accounts. One so you have the freedom to post what you would like and the additional account to just have a little bit more professionalism. Make sure you have good engagement. Engagement is how an audience interacts with your account. So the amount of likes and comments you receive on your photos. I've come to learn that many brands put this above everything else including the amount of followers you have. So if you do have a smaller following, you need to make sure that you have a very high engagement rate. I recommend looking at Social Blade to see what your engagement rate currently looks like and you can do this across all of your social medias from Instagram to YouTube. If you take anything away from this video today, it is that you need to absolutely have a high engagement rate in order to work with brands. For example, if you have 20,000 Instagram followers with only a 2% engagement rate, that is not good. While it shows yes, you have a ton of followers, it also shows that those followers do not interact with your posts that much. It does not matter how many followers you have if you do not have a good engagement rate. And at the end of the day, brands love to see a high engagement rate. You want to make sure that your audience actually cares about what you have to say in the content that you post. Post your own content. I see a lot of accounts posting other people's photos and I really don't encourage it. And brands don't like it either. They want to see your content and your creativity. When they send you products to test, review, shoot, and post, they want to know that you are capable of doing so. Posting content that you did not create has the reverse effect. Make sure that you are always posting your own content so you can show brands what you personally have to offer for them. Another thing to know, unless you have expressed permission, you are not allowed to use anybody else's content at all. This is illegal and it violates copyright laws. Not only that, but Instagram also flags that because it is against their guidelines and they can get your account taken down. So just to be on the safe side, don't post other people's content. Get your Instagram together. If you post blurry or dark photos, brands are not going to want to work with you. This doesn't mean that you need to go out and purchase a $2,000 DSLR, but it does mean that you need to be mindful of the content that you do create. And while I personally do have a Canon camera and I do use it, some of my photos have been taken on my iPhone and the quality is impeccable. I personally think that an iPhone will work just as great. I don't have an Android, so I can't really speak to that, but the technology that they put in phones cameras is amazing, so please don't feel like you need to go out and buy a really, really expensive camera. After you shoot your content, I would just play with the lighting and the editing until you come up with something you're just really proud of. Spinning off this, you need to make sure that you're also posting relevant content. For example, if you create an Instagram account that's regarded to beauty, your audience doesn't want to see you post about a free video game that you got. You want your photos to have some type of theme and purpose to them. Your feed needs to make sense. This will build a stronger bond between you and your audience because it shows that you're genuine about your account and genuine about what you post. Tag brands and research your hashtags. Tag brands in the content that you post because this will ensure that a brand is more than likely to see your photo. If you're working really hard on these photos, you want people to see them. More specifically, you want the brand in question to see it. By tagging them, it's a great way to get their attention. In addition, I highly recommend that you use your hashtags wisely. You're allowed to use up to 30 hashtags on a singular Instagram post, and I personally use all 30 of them. This will give your photo amazing reach that you otherwise wouldn't get by your general audience. I've gotten up to 80% of people liking my photos that didn't even follow me. So please, please, please make sure you're using hashtags wisely. Another tip would be to go on that brand specific profile and see what hashtags they are following. If it applies to your photo, I'd recommend using those because it's a surefire way to get the brand to notice. Be creative. This might be a no-brainer, but you'd actually be surprised at the lack of creativity that I see on social platforms. Brands don't want another version of someone else's account. If they did, they would go to that person directly. 
be original in what you create and what you post. I think it's great to get inspiration from other accounts, whether it be through style, editing, props, etc. However, I don't think it's a good idea to copy a singular account verbatim. There are so many accounts that just do not stand out. They all look alike, they all post the same captions and the same editing style, and you don't want to get lost in a sea of accounts. You won't stand out, brands won't notice you because you're lumped in with everybody else. Your pitch. When reaching out to brands, come up with an idea and be creative. Don't say, hey, I love your makeup, let's collaborate, because that will not work and it is unprofessional as well. For example, when I started out, I pitched to a brand a very creative idea that I had. It didn't necessarily go with their aesthetic, but they had never had it before on their account from what I could see. The brand ended up loving the idea, and instead of that one singular product that I wanted to test out to review, they actually sent me an entire care package of products that I could shoot or not, depending on what I wanted to do. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and please don't be afraid to take risks. When reaching out to brands, make sure that you're not writing huge long paragraphs. Social media managers are bombarded with messages like this every day. Keep it short, size, informative, and to the point. Make your account a business account. Instagram has a feature where you can choose whether you want to have a personal or business account. Depending on how serious you take this, I recommend doing a business account. One of the things this offers is a direct link for brands to email you directly from your Instagram page. Another example of this will include your audience's insights, so their age, location, and gender that they identify with. I also recommend making your account a business account because you can see over time which photos perform better in terms of likes, reach, and averages. Market yourself accordingly and show a brand what you can do for them, whether it be through editing style, personality, photography, or creativity. If your content is good, brands will take notice, and if you have a personality that shines through your account, brands can see that. This might seem simple, but make sure that you are following the brand that you want to work with. I have two different friends that are social media managers, and they both have told me that they think it is so disrespectful when people reach out and ask for PR and they're not even following the brand that they're asking. I hope that these tips have helped, and I look forward to seeing what you guys create. Thank you so much for watching.